Did you know that some engines are up to 48 cylinders and there are up to 12 engine layouts exists? Some of those layouts you haven't even heard of before. We will be listing all cylinder engines layouts and briefly describing each one. Single cylinder engines Single cylinder engines, often known as thumpers, have a single piston and one cylinder. They're commonly seen on motorcycles, scooters, go-karts, all-terrain vehicles, portable tools, garden machines, and some other vehicles. Single cylinder engines are simpler and more compact when compared to multi-cylinder engines. With single cylinder engines, air cooling is generally more efficient than with multi-cylinder engines because of the larger capacity for airflow around all sides of the cylinders. Straight slash inline engines. Straight engines, also known as inline engines, have their cylinders all lined up in a straight line along with the crankshaft with no offset. A slant engine is a straight engine that has been positioned at an angle. Because the cylinder bank and crankshaft can both be machined from a single metal casting, a straight engine is simpler to construct than any other engine's layouts. Straight engines have different configurations, straight two, known as parallel twin, and used mostly in motorcycles. Straight three, known as inline triple. Straight four, it is the most commonly used type for cars. Straight five. Straight six. Straight eight straight 10, straight 12, and straight 14. V engines. Engines with V configurations, often known as V engines, have cylinders arranged in two parallel planes or banks, connected to the same crankshaft. Because the cylinder banks are angled in relation to one another from the front of the engine, they seem like a V. The length of a V-engine is usually less than an identical inline engine, but the trade-off is a greater width. V-engines come in a variety of configurations, V2, known as V-twin, V3, V4, V6, V8, V10, V12, V14, V16, V18, V20, V24, VR5 have a single cylinder head with a narrow V angle and VR6 have a single cylinder head with a narrow V angle. Flat engines Engines with two banks of cylinders on either side of a single crankshaft are called horizontally opposed or boxer engines. Flat engines have the advantages of being compact, having a low center of gravity and being suitable for cooling with air. Flat engines have better primary balance than straight engines, which results in less vibration. Flat engines come in a variety of configurations, flat 2, flat 4, flat 6, flat 8, and flat 12. Opposed piston engines. When compared to a flat boxer engine, an opposed piston engine is similar in that it has coaxial piston pairs, but instead of sharing a crankshaft, each pair of pistons share a single combustion chamber. In the past, opposed piston engines powered by gasoline or diesel have mostly been seen in ships, military tanks, and industrial plants. W engines As with V engines, those in W engines have their banks of cylinders configured such that they look like the letter W. Three or four cylinder banks of a piston engine share the same crankshaft. W engines are not as common as V engines and are shorter and wider than a V engine. One of the most popular W engines is the Bugatti W16 engine. W engines come in a variety of configurations, W3, W6, W8, W12, W16, W18, W24, and W30. X engines. Have you heard of the X engine before? I haven't before preparing this video. When viewed from the front, the X engine's cylinders create an X shape. An X engine has four banks of cylinders surrounding a single crankshaft. 
X engines have the benefit of being shorter than V engines with the same number of cylinders, but they are heavier and more complicated. As a result, the arrangement has seen very little action throughout the years. The combination of two V engines was the basis for several X engine designs. For example, two V engines are linked together by a shared crankshaft to form an X engine. There were a lot of V12 engines that were transformed into X24. U engines U engine block looks like the U letter when seen from the front. There are two distinct straight engines in a U engine, each with its own crankshaft. A four cylinder U engine is the most common, known as a square four engine. Several U engines were built between 1915 and 1987 for use in aircraft, racing automobiles, racing and road bikes, locomotives, and tanks. However, they were far less common than the V engines. H engines H engines, like U engines, are made up of two flat engines that are connected together via gears or chains. When viewed from the front, the engine blocks resemble the letter H. Between 4 and 24 cylinder H engines have been built. During the 1930s and 1940s, aviation engines mostly used the H engine architecture. A 16 cylinder H engine was used in the Lotus 43 Formula 1 vehicle of 1966, while an 8 cylinder H engine was utilized in 1970s power boat racing. Horizontal K engine, K. Yes, this engine looks like a K letter when viewed from the front. In this layout of the engine, there are four cylinders per crank pin in the shape of a K, with its vertical side parallel to the ground. This engine configuration is proposed and analyzed by Russia Rikaj. It provides better balance and less frictional losses. This engine layout is ideal for marine applications, supercars, and locomotives, all of which require 8, 12, or even 20 cylinders. Radial engines, there is just one crankshaft in the radial engine, and all of the pistons are located at the same place on the crankshaft. This type of engine was used mainly for airplanes. One of the most popular radial engines is the Pratt & Whitney R4360 28-cylinder engine. You can watch the video about the Pratt & Whitney R4360 in the description below. Delta Engines Delta engines have opposed piston cylinders located in three distinct planes or banks, which appear to be in the shape of a question mark when viewed along the main axis. The Napier Deltic engine is a well-known example of this design. This diesel engine is used mostly on ships and locomotives. Cylinders were set up in an unusual triangular arrangement with a crankshaft at each corner, making this a unique engine design. Enough. I think this is a lot of engine layouts. But who says that these are all? There are still some cylinder engines layouts out there, but they are less common. Go ahead and find them yourself. And if you already know, please mention them in the comments section below, so all benefit from this information. Which engine layout do you think is the best overall? And which one do you think could have more potential if utilized better? Thanks for watching till the end. If you liked the video smash the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you next time.